Welcome back to News Central. We can now turn attention to education. Now, parents between today and tomorrow uh, will begin preparing the awards for senior high school following the release of the 2024 senior high school placement. Government says more than 90% of this year's BECE candidates have been placed with over 30,000 uh, students expected to resort to self-placement. I want to show you what the numbers look like of students entering senior high school this year. We know over uh, 55,000 uh, students sat for the BEC. Could we see that? Over 563,339 candidates wrote the senior high school um, Candidates wrote the BECE. Now, 553,155 qualify for placement into senior high schools. We also know that over 521,000 have been placed in one school or the other. Remember that we told you that about 32,000 of them will have to do self placement. And so, between now uh, and Wednesday, some will be headed for school. Now, 73,390 have been placed in similar schools of choice. That's what the numbers look like for BECE candidates who are entering senior high school this year. Let's check on how that is going. Some students with their guardians uh, have started trickling into the GES designated Western Region uh, Solution Center to try to rectify challenges with their school placement. The Ministry of Education has released the 2024-2025 placement results for senior high schools and technical vocational education and training institutions with its attendant challenges. Let's speak to Irama Smith. Irama is joining us from Second D. Irama, what can you report from there? It's 10 a.m. and I'm currently at the Western Regional Office of the Ghana Education Service, uh, specifically designated solution center by the GES to help uh, sort out the challenges of the placement of uh, BEC graduates who are trying to secure admission to the um, SHS. It's very early and there are just a few people here, but basically what they are all talking about is a change of school for their awards. The, all those that have interacted with, their awards got good grades, they got their first choice of schools, but some are saying that uh, they, they've realized that the schools are too far. It's only one person who says the, the ward missed the code. So that instead of uh, picking, for instance, DSTS in Takradi, the ward has been placed at Ganas in the Eastern region. So uh, she wants to try to see if this can be changed for her. But this is very early. I mean, today is a Thursday. It's just, it's barely 10 a.m. So I believe that um, as the time goes on, we see more and more um, parents coming here with their awards mm. to see what can be done to address their challenges. Uh, well, Irama, now it's half past 12 or even more. Have you been able to speak to officials to see how things are changing? So the information I'm gathering is that the, um, the portals for the schools have not been opened. So many of the students do not even know uh, their fate. And those who are not too sure about where they've been posted to are also in a dilemma because they don't they don't have that access to be able to start posting themselves over here uh, as i indicated uh, most of the parents who are or guardians who are coming here are looking for a change of schools so um what and one other thing that we are being told is that you know tomorrow that is 30th is the deadline for the student to report and considering the fact that some do not even know their fate now uh, it has become quite a challenge for both our parents and then the students. So here in the Western region, what they are saying is that they are waiting uh, for a directive from Accra to know whether indeed the students will be reporting tomorrow, considering the fact that they expected the placement to be done a week before the reopening date, and that could not be done. So in this rushed uh, way, they don't know how things will go. They are just in expectation of uh, what their head office will direct them to do.
Mm, Vera Rama, thank you so much for the report. Rama Smith is our Western Region correspondent. You're watching News Central on TV3, and we are your election command center.